Hi, it's Emma. Um, I know I'd stop doing YouTube stuff because of um, my health and stuff, but I'm starting to record more videos and make more YouTube things. So that will be um, more stuff will be going on to my channel. Um, so yeah, so because I'm like. I always make more like music stuff. I don't know why. I think because singing's always been my first passion. So so like I feel like I always just sing and like I never think of anything else. But I found I thought of like the because like, I thought of like the personal stuff and I was like, well I'll just do that and I didn't think like it was just a spur of the moment thing. So I was just sat in and I thought, I've recorded like a few music videos, like not proper. <laughs> I wish. Um, but, and I just came up with this thing like, why don't I just do a, um, a quiz while you watch me? And I'll read them, I'll read them out and see if like you literally get the answer. <laughs> I'm like, I literally, like, this is going to be funny because I literally, this is my all-time favourite musical. And I'm going to get, like, almost every single question wrong. That's always the way in it. So we'll start the quiz. Oh, here goes. What is, so it's based on, <laughs> I even told her, it's based on Wicked, musical Wicked. Okay, so if anyone is, like, a massive Wicked fan, this is, like... So I'll be do I'll I'll probably do others because it's like literally so fun. I'm already excited. And excuse me if I can't like read some words out because my my reading and writing isn't that right now isn't very good. So here it goes. Um I'll be pressing along and you know just see what we do. What is the name of the university in the beginning of the play? Hogwarts. Or this school of wizardry, fizz or shiz? Well, I'm gonna go with shiz. You're correct. It is. Try another quick question. Who is Alphaba? The Witch of the South, <laughs> the Witch of the North, the Witch of the West, <laughs> <Don't look. laughs> the Witch of the East. I'm not going to go with the Witch of the West. I'm literally like, if I get the question right, whatever, I'm literally like giving you like the answer. Right, yeah, so. <gasps> yes! Literally. Alphabet is never considered as normal. Why? Okay. She was born green. She is crippled and very frail. She was paralysed before birth. She was always a weak child and had nearly died. I'll give you a, a second to think. Right, okay. I'm going to put because she was green. Not because she was crippled and frail. Huh? Yes. Try another quick question. Who became the good witch? Madame Morrible, Alphaba, Glinda or Nerissa? I'm going to put Glinda. I'm literally so nervous in case I get a question wrong and it's like my all time favourite musical. Like try another quick question. What is Elphaba's problem with Glinda in what is this feeling? She's blonde, she's blue, she doesn't like Nessa, she's smarter than her. Oh god. 
how I actually don't know. Um, oh, what? I don't, I don't know. What is the problem? What is Alphabet's problem with Linda? What is this feeling? So sudden. I'm gonna put smart or I don't even know. I've literally, I've literally just got it wrong. It's because she's blonde. Blonde? Oh god. Well, Alphaba tells her father she doesn't like Glinda because she's blonde. Glinda tells her parents that Alphaba is unusually and exceedingly peculiar and altogether quite impossible. At the beginning of the song! Oh my god! That is like... How did I not get it? Oh my god, that is so, like, so overthinking it. Don't overthink things. Who played Alphabot in the original broadcast, Broadway cast? Carol Shelley. Kristen Chenoweth. Adina Menzel or Michelle Federer. Adina Menzel. Yeah! <laughs> Big fan. Right, okay. Oh, God. I'll teach you the proper plies when you talk to boys that always to. Oh, I was actually going to say. I'll teach you the proper ways to. What comes next? Flirt and flounce. Woo! Yay! I'll teach you the proper ways. How are you doing, guys? Yeah, how are you doing, everyone? Okay. Who did Fiero become? I literally don't know. Right, I'm going to say, because he, uh, like, all that thing with school and stuff, he's obviously going to be brainless, isn't he? I'm gonna say the scarecrow. <laughs> and like in the other song, it just talks about the lion and the tin man. So, where did the scarecrow come from? <sighs> I'm so buzzing right now. <laughs> I should know it anyway. Oh, God. So, like, try another quick question. Who played Glinda in the original Broadway cast? Kristen Chenworth, Michelle Federer, Carol Scheller or Christy Candler? Kristen Chenworth. Yes. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh my god. Right. And one day he'll say to me, Alphabot, a girl who is so superior, shouldn't a girl who's so good inside have a bleep? What comes next? So, El so and one day he'll say to me, Alphabot, a girl who is so superior, shouldn't a girl who's so good inside have a Nice face, easy going nature, good attitude, or matching exterior. Matching exterior, that's what I thought. Nice face, that's a bit rude, isn't it? You're correct. <sighs> Try another quick question. Like a Pulled from as it passes the when are the missing what are the missing words in the correct order okay so like a summer pulled from summer as it passes the summer what are the missing words in the correct order comet sun orbit orbit sun comet 
Come abe son. Son come abe. Oh my god, my brain cannot handle this. <laughs> right. Like a comet pulled from abe as it passes the sun. So it's like a comet pulled from abe as it passes. I can't even read the letters. Like, like the words. Like a comet pulled from abe. Passes the sun. Yes! Yes, I got it. It's <laughs> I was really nervous then that I was going to get it wrong. According to Pharaoh, what is... <laughs> I was going to say Pharaoh. <laughs> My is in the Pharaoh. What is the trouble with schools? They don't know what they're teaching. They give too much homework. They always try to teach the wrong subject. They're always trying to teach the wrong lesson. <laughs> they're always trying to teach the wrong lesson. The trouble with schools is they're always trying to teach the wrong lesson. Do, do, do. Trust me, I think it's all of them to know. They want to become less callow, less shallow. I'll say, why am I stressing? <laughs> Stop studying stress and learn to live the unexamined life. That's dancing for life. What is Alphabus Sister? Alphabus Sister. Nerestha's nickname. Nessa, Rose, Nessie, or Rose, Nessa. That's why I can't say because it's just like Nessa in it. Like, correct. Nessa is hardly called Nessa. Nessa, <laughs> Nessa Rose. That's why I can't. Yeah, I can't say it. Nessa Rose. Yeah. The song in Wicked. That includes the lyrics, something has changed within me, something is not the same, was called defying life, gravity, rules, what I'm told. I'm going to put gravity. Yeah, you're correct. This song where Alphabet decides to become the Wicked Witch of the West. What is Glinda's real name? Glinda is her real name. Glinda, what? Gully. Oh, Glinda spelled a different way. Glinda the Good Witch. <laughs> Glinda. Is it Glinda the Good Witch or Glinda? I need help. I'm going to put Glinda the Good Witch because I don't even know. Because if it's like Elphaba, I don't, I don't know. Is it Glinda or Glinda the Good Witch? I don't know. Did it say Glinda? Glinda the Good Witch. Oh, I don't know. I'm just going to put Glinda the Good Witch. <laughs> don't look at me. <laughs> oh, seriously. Glinda changed her name from Glinda in honour of... That's not fair. <laughs> Time of the question. In you... Care to find Alphaba at the end of Defying Gravity? Where would you look? The Western Sky, Munchkinland, the Bronx, Northern Ireland. I would have found her there if she was there. Um, the Western Sky. The school in Wicked is called Shiz, 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 or Shiz, but spelt like differently, so any of those answers are correct. Um, yeah, you're correct. I just put what I thought the right spelling was. What is strange about Alpha Boss? She's green, blue, pink, red, green. You're correct. 
This is why the Wicked Witch of the West always thought of as green. The trouble with school is what comes next. They all try to teach their own lesson. They are nurturing and healthy. They stamp out creativity. They are fortresses of evil. They always try to teach their own lesson. Yeah. Thought we had that one. Complete the lyric, no one mourns the evil. Civil, creepy, or wicked. No one mourns the wicked. Now at last. Dreams. The way we planned them. If we work in bleep. What word goes there? So if we work in tandem. Together, pairs or delig delignantly, however, um, tandem anyway. Who played Glinda in the original cast of Wicked? Adina Menzel, Kristen Chenworth, Michelle Fen Federer, or Stephanie J. Block? It's Kristen, isn't it? You're correct. What well, what well-known bubble tune from Wicked is the lyric from Don't be offended by my frank analysis. Think of it as personality dialysis. Popular. I'm not that girl. Dancing through life. No one mourns the Wicked. It's popular. You're correct. That's when she's trying to make Elphaba look better. But she not really. In Defying Gravity, Elphaba sings, So if you care to find me, look to the western sky. As someone told me lately, finish the lyric. Never give up hope. Everyone deserves a chance to fly. Be yourself. No one deserves a chance to fly. Everyone deserves a chance to fly. You're correct. Who was the original Alphabet? Christine Chenwith, Carol Scheller, Michelle Federer, or Adina Menzel? Adina Menzel. No, correct. After her ma uh, ma I was going to say matchmaking. After her makeover, when Alphabet goes to class with a pink flower in her hair, Fiero says that she has been what? Confusified, galindified, pinkified, or flowerified. I'm gonna put galindified. Oh, no. oh, I'm correct! Yay! I don't even know, God, I can't remember that. But it's like galindified, isn't it? Like that's a word, like galindified. Oh. Something has changed within me, something is not the same. I'm through playing what comes next soccer. By the rules of someone else's game, a terrible game, a rigid game. By the rules of someone else's game. Correct. Who became the Tin Man? Dr. Dillamond, Bot, Chris, Dury, um, Fierro. So who became the Tin Man? I'd say Bot. I don't know, someone's telling me but Yay! Yes. I think there was like 50 something questions on you. I don't even know. I don't, I don't even know. Where do Glinda and Alphaba spend the fun filled day? Munchkin Land, the Emerald City, Shears, or the Elbrook Road? Um, no more talking. The Emerald City. Maybe they went on the Albert Road, and then that's all. Not talking. Maybe they stayed behind at the school and catched up on some homework. I just 
Oh my god. What did Elphaba want from Dorothy? Shoes. What, are we on to like a bit of um, the Wizard of Oz now? Dorothy took the shoes off. Oh, Dorothy took the shoes off Ness's feet. Elphaba wanted the shoes as a way of remembering her sister. What is the name of the university in the beginning of the play Hogwarts? Am I just starting again? Hogwarts are schools of wizardry features. Let's see if we started again. Yeah, I think we've started again now. If I have then that must have completed it. Yeah. I've completed it, but it hasn't even told me my score. Let's see. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, it didn't even tell me my score. That's a bit thingy, isn't it? But, if you got most of the questions right, then... Well done, you did wickedly great, if that makes sense. You were wicked. <laughs> um, I th I'm going to be posting more of them because that was really fun. And I think I only got a couple wrong, which is actually really good. When, like, considering I love the musical, like, that is the greatest musical. And, yeah, I'm going to go and... Um, fly west. Bye. See you next time. Woo.